27 years ago, a movie hit the screens that would give us one of the most quotable lines in movie history. You're, You're killing, killing me, Smalls. Smalls. And now Patrick Renna is getting the Sandlot cast back together for an epic reunion, all for a good cause. And we are so excited to hear all about it from Ham himself. You know, I went back this morning and watched the Sandlot because I knew I'd be talking to you. Wow, I mean, commitment. Well, you kidding me? I also watched it last night. Too. <laughs> there are so many incredible lines. Of course, so many of them are yours. But one that I just love is when they say, you know, everybody, everybody gets, gets one a chance, chance to do something, to do something great. great. And what I love is right now, you're getting another chance to do something else great with bringing this cast back together. It's something that we all, we not only do we want it right now, but we need it right now. Tell me about the reunion. I just, I've been watching all these reunions, whether it's uh, John Krasinski or The Goonies or these different ones coming out and I've, I've been loving them myself. And so the guys and I, we have a little group chat now. So we were texting, should we do one? And I said, yeah, I'll put it together. And it's been fun because, you know, we also got some uh, additional characters like Marley Shelton who played Wendy and Art LaFure who plays the babe and Will Horniff plays Phillips, my arch enemy. So, and then I just got, had the idea of uh, adding some of the Major League Baseball players to it because I thought, you know, I, I have my own channel, obviously, and so we're, we're launching it on my channel, but I figured since it's my channel, I should have someone else hosting. And Justin Turner and his wife, Courtney, have always been huge fans, and we met them a couple times going to Dodger Stadium. So I was like, these guys got to do this. And he also has a great foundation, so it was really cool to be able to do it for a good cause. Yeah, and, and just explain that because this is actually for charity as well. Yeah, it's a fundraiser. A lot of the uh, reunions have been fundraisers and we just decided to do that, of course. And uh, Justin Turner, I went to a golf tournament of his a few years ago. I first met him at Dodger Stadium and we bonded because he said to me, just so you know, my alias on the road is Ham Porter. And then I just started telling everyone on national TV. So I completely ruined his alias. He had me out to his golf tournament. So I kind of found out about his foundation, which you know, does a lot for kids with life altering illnesses and the families. And then during these times, they're really turning their efforts to helping with COVID-19 relief. So I just thought it was the perfect foundation to benefit and he's the perfect host. And the movie takes place in LA with the Dodgers. The end scene is at Dodger Stadium when the Jet steals home. So it was kind of uh, the perfect uh, marriage on the whole thing. Give people a, a little spoiler of what they'll see. Well, uh, we make a s'more, I'll tell you that, and uh, I still got it, let me tell you, I still can make a s'more. First, you take, you take the, the gram. gram. And uh, we have some fun with Phillips. Shut up, idiot! Moron! Scat eater! We have a bunch of Dodgers in it, uh, former Dodger D. Gordon, we have Kike Hernandez, Andre Ethier, and then some other great MLB guests that Justin brought in, plus Justin Turner, so we have some fun with them, and uh, we reenact one of the scenes, so that's fun. And the director directs it. And the great thing about having the director in it is, I don't know if you know, but it's his voice narrating the whole movie. He still has it, too. He still you got it. right back into it when you're listening to him. All right, boys, does everybody have their script? Show of hands. And action. I'm curious about some of your, your favorite fan encounters. I think my favorite or most memorable one is the one with Tom Gary in the East Village, I think we were. We were walking together and um, we're about half a block away is this kid wearing the shirt with me on it. And it says, you're killing me, Smalls. And Tom said, oh my God, look, there's the shirt. I yelled out to him and I was like, hey bud, nice shirt. He looked at us and was like, I had no idea who we were. So we took a photo and I posted it, not thinking twice about it. And it kind of went crazy on the internet. People loved it. You know, when you guys were filming this, you, you were kids. At what point did you realize that you had something so special? When the movie came out, it was a success and it was a hit, but it wasn't, wasn't some blockbuster. But honestly, for me, I didn't really see like craziness until that sort of 20 year anniversary because I think that's when the next generation picked it up. There are very few movies like that that will just hold on forever. And it's, it's got to be so wild just to be part of one of them. It is. That, that's why when people say, do you get sick of talking about it? I, I never do because you want to be part of something that has this lasting effect and means that much to people. We don't really act for ourselves, contrary to popular belief. Really, you act 
to bring a smile to someone's face. And people can watch the reunion special on your new YouTube yes, channel. Right there. You're killing You're me with Patrick. You're killing me with Patrick Renna. Well, I'm so happy that you decided to get this going. Well, thank you.